Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about this new lighting system by Regal Ideas called Yard Light. It's an LED accent slash stair light. You can put it in different locations in your builds, on your decks and things like that. So I've never used it. I don't know anything about it. And I have some parts here. So we're gonna see if we can just like hook it up and make it work. So it comes in three different colors. There's white, there's blue, and there's amber. I just chose the white lights because I thought they were kind of cool. Maybe we'll drop one in a sample board or something like that so we can really get the idea of what it's going to look like, that kind of thing. Maybe we can spell my name out in these lights if I had enough of them. Probably not today, but you never know. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. All right, so let's get into this. I ordered a rail system for the deck we're building right now. So these just came, I ordered a, a, some extra lights. And so I haven't opened these boxes yet. So this is kind of reaction video too, all right? So here is one of the yard lights. This is uh, what it comes, how it comes packaged. There's a little bit of a description on the back. I ordered, like I said, all white, and I can't, my, I can't even read that. So uh, let's just be a dude and just open up the box and try to figure it out. Let's not read the directions, okay? We'll be a man. We'll be a man. Yeah. Looks like it comes with a clip. If you're in thinner materials, a clip that can hold the light tight. There's a little bit of a bezel on the front. So you're drilling a certain size hole, which we haven't figured out yet. It has kind of a dome shape to the top of the light, okay? And then on the back side of the light, it looks like, this is common, this is like the crystal rail a hookup. I happen to have a crystal rail transformer right here. So this crystal rail transformer will probably work with these lights. And I know that you can also use this Regal Ideas transformer if you have this adapter right here. So we'll go ahead and check all that stuff out, but let's just go straight to the gritty and let's just go ahead and hook up this crystal rail transformer to this light and get it lit and see if that how that works. That, that seems like how it's gonna work. So we got the transformer, we got the remote. So we're gonna pop the remote, put this battery in here. Pretty smart that they don't preload the battery because they don't last very long. This is a CR2016, so 2016. So it's not the super thick battery, so they don't last quite as long as some of those thicker batteries, but it's a nice slim remote. Snap that together. Okay, so there's that. Here's the transformer. It's 60 watts, so it'll run like 60 lights. Now what's interesting is this transformer is I believe 24 volts. So these lights will run on 24 volts. So we'll hook up the RF receiver into this section and screw that together. And then this will go to our first light like so, oh wait a minute, that is not the case. So that's I think what the adapter's for. So we take this yard light adapter, oh that's, no, nope. the yard light adapter is actually for this, for the LED there. So with that being said, how would this work? I don't think I have the right part for this because this won't hook up to this. So I must be missing something to make this LED controller work. So we'll set that to the side for now. And since I do have the parts for this, we'll go ahead and open up this transformer. And I believe this is also 60 watts. This is on a 12 volt system. So they must have something that'll buck the voltage down off that other transformer. I'll have to give you guys an update on that, but I don't think I have the right part for that. So here's the receiver for this system. It's all directional. It has to go in a certain way. And there's there's uh, different shaped plugs that only they only fit one direction. Okay, so from there, now here's our receiver. And then there's our receiver wire and our light connector. There's also a piece of a heat shrink to make sure these connections stay together. From there, you get this adapter, and it also has a piece of heat shrink, so we don't need two pieces, so this piece can go away. You take this, and you hook it where it says top to top. There's two different pieces right here. There's a male and a female, and those have to go together like so. They clip together, and then that's where you would put this over this, the heat shrink over that, and then you would heat that up with a heat gun once you get it centered. And then that keeps that from wanting to pull apart. Now we have the right end. Now I'll take this end here, and these are linkable. These lights are linkable, so you can do quite a few of these, I think up to 60 lights off of one transformer. We, again, we just have to be directional in how we hook this up. So let's just say you wanna do a staircase out of these. You probably would have to run some extensions. I know that they make an extension once this, is, once this is in the stair, but you might be able to actually 
have enough room to link them to stairs. If you need to go further apart than that, then they're gonna have an extension lead that goes from this piece to the next light. I think they're three feet or six feet. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I will also get that information together for you. Here's the remote, so I'm gonna pull that out so now that's activated. I just have to plug this in and we'll see if this light lights up. Here we go, we have the light is, is I believe, hooked up. I have the transformer right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this on. And there you go, off, on. Uh, sometimes these are dimmable. They are dimmable. There's actually three brightnesses that you can do, not two. So if I hit the minus button, it goes down one level and then I hit it again and it goes down another level. So uh, there's the dullest setting and then brighter, brightest. So that's kind of convenient. All right, so these W, G, and B, these don't really work with this setup. It's because the actual light is strictly white. Um, I think these bulbs are interchangeable too. I think that, let's see, if I can pull this, yeah. So you could obtain other color bulbs, I believe. I'm not sure if that works, how that works, or if, if you just end up buying the other colored lights, you could actually change these out from white to blue to amber. Uh, it would take a little bit of effort, but you know, you could do it if you decide you wanna change the lights out to blue or something like that. And then you have your little collar, which I'm, I'm gonna be installing these in one inch deck boards. So this collar probably isn't gonna do me a lot of justice. I probably won't use it. I'll probably just clip them off. And then if these don't fit tight, I'll probably just silicone them in or put a little piece of electrical tape around them to make them fit snug. But if you use the right size drill bit, that shouldn't be a problem. Should be able to just drill the right size hole. All right, so before we uh, install one in a deck board, I thought maybe I'd show you guys how they link these together and the distance that we have in between the two lights, right? I think that's kind of important information. Okay, so here's one light that's working. There's an input and output, so I'm going to the output. I'm gonna move it to the input. Oop, wrong one, over here. Uh, again, there's a groove in the female side and there's a tongue in the male side. So those have to line up and then they snap together like that. And now this one's lit as well. Then all you have to do, it's all plug and play. So you just screw this piece together and there's a seal in there so it keeps it from getting moisture. So it looks like you have about two feet in between lights. Actually you have 30 inches. 30 inches in between lights if you stretch them really tight. So you can just keep linking these together and off one transformer you can do 60 of these. Let's set up some tools and we'll we'll drill one into a deck board real quick. All right guys, so we just went through a bunch of different size bits to try and figure out which bit we should use for this installation. And what I found was these lights are actually a metric because uh, Regal Ideas is a Canadian company. So 17 millimeter is the correct size but we don't have a 17 millimeter bit. What we have is an 11 16 bit, which is a little bit bigger than this light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole with 11 16 and then we're gonna add a little bit of clear silicone to the inside of this light to push it in. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a hole where I, where I would normally put a light. And then what you do is you just feed everything through the face including the Y adapter, which it's a little snug to get in there, okay? And then you'll just tuck this in. I mean, it, it's fairly snug. It's fairly snug, but I could see that possibly moving in the future. So a little dab of silicone on here and then pull it tight. And you can even put a piece of blue tape or something on it until the silicone cures. And then this thing won't move. And then all you have to do is hook it back up into your system like a soul and click it on and screw it in like that and then find your remote and there you go. But you can see if I don't if I don't hold it tight, then it may separate from the fascia. Now if you have thinner fascia than one inch, you can use those retainer clips, but I actually had to cut the retainer clip off to make this work for me. So that's what it looks like flush installed. So I would probably turn this, there's like a little number right here. So I would turn that straight up so you can read it. And then I would silicone this in and then you're done. All right guys, let me know what you think of this system. It's uh, new to us, so uh, we'll probably be using it in a future build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Like this video and leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.